What is going on guys? This is Spade. I made a tutorial video about this at the behest of Drifter to go in depth of my NVIDIA GeForce experience, like the, the shadow play settings that I use and stuff for the, the quality of videos that I make. He mentioned in one of his, actually his most recent of Black Ops PC Sweats video, uh, as to why he wasn't recording much on PC, and it was because he was having issues with Shadow Play capturing his Black Ops 4, and that his Shadow Play was even crashing. Now, I'm not having that issue. My Black Ops 4 does not crash my Shadow Play at all. It doesn't even crash my NVIDIA GeForce experience. So, right off the top, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to let you guys look at my driver number. My driver issue, my driver number is 416.34, released, released October 11th. That's my most recent one. That's what I have. I'm not running any kind of the optimizations. I turn all that crap off uh, for this, mostly because it helps free up some VRAM. And if you're doing shadow play, you need free VRAM. And this game does have a pretty nasty memory leak, so you really kind of want to keep that in check. So for me... Uh, these are my settings. If you want to look through those, I can actually show you in-game too. But in short, it's mostly medium, high, not very high ultra settings like this would want it. Because for whatever reason, NVIDIA wants to over-sample games. It wants to super-sample stuff for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I just back that down to 100. But in short, my settings are medium, high, not high, very high. And that helped free up a lot of VRAM. Now, I do have a couple of recordings saved uh, that we can check out. One of them is going to be a video that went up yesterday, which I hate to show you guys a video that went up yesterday, but at least lets you see the quality of the video itself. I'm trying to, let's get into some movements here, but at least lets you see the quality that I'm able to capture and produce with my shadow play settings. So I will show you those settings. They're all very basic. The one thing you have to understand and, and know is whenever you're using a shadow play or any of the NVIDIA capture stuff, what it's going to do, it's going off your VRAM usage and spare VRAM of your graphics card. There, No, there's not an FPS hit in terms of major FPS loss if you're actually uh, using it to record live because it has a setting to record live as well as a flashback type thing that Elgato has on their software. You're going to use more RAM if you have that flashback setting all the way to 20 minutes. So these are my settings that I'm going to show you right here. You can hit Alt-Z on your computer if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, and it'll pop this menu up. And these are my settings. I did have it on 20. I had it on a 20-minute frame buffer. Or not frame buffer, I'm sorry, on, on a cache, a 20-minute cache. And I was getting stuttering in recordings and some major audio desyncing issues with that. So after a lot of trial and error with my friend Tony, uh, I actually resorted to using some settings that he recommended to me, and I tweaked them a little bit further. So I only have a flashback set up for 10 minutes, which for the most part I'm a TDM kill, kill confirmed player, and that works fine for me if I'm just trying to capture a quick gameplay. So I had it set for 10 minutes. My in-game resolution is actually 1080p because all my recording setup is 1080p across the board. Just makes for easy access across everything. Frame rate is 60, and then bit rate, I just, it's at 50. So all this is is a preset. All I did is 10 minutes, uh, cache buffer, and clicked high. That's it. That's what worked for me. I'm not sure if that's going to work for everybody else, but the few people that I have recommended these settings to that was no longer an issue, but they did also turn their in-game settings down inside Black Ops 4, because that's going to be another issue, because Black Ops 4 on PC does have a pretty gnarly memory leak. So I'll start up Black Ops 4 and let you guys see where my VRAM sits right at when the game starts. That way you kind of can get an idea of where I'm at. And this is going to take a second to launch, so I'm going to cut this time out for when it launches. All right, so we're inside Black Ops 4 right now on PC. Let's go down to my settings menu, and then graphics. And this is where my VRAM is. 3400 is where mine is. I have an 8 gig max, because I, I have a GTX 1080, not a 1080 Ti. I just have a GTX 1080. That's what I have on my computer. So my, set, my actual graphical settings, I just have 1080p, render resolution at 100, 
and everything else is like medium to medium high and see gtx 1080 right there so or not me yeah it's medium to medium high so texture quality medium texture filtering quality medium special effects medium model quality high static reflection medium space reflection off and then object view distance i have low but essentially what you're doing you're freeing up this vram that way shadow play and that cache buffer can actually use that extra vram to smooth out that video as much as possible now one of the things you're also going to run into depending on how much ram you have in your computer is if you go back here let's get out of here i unfortunately i don't really have a, a clip that's going to portray this greatly but what i i do have i can show you so this on playback here there is a little stutter you can kind of catch it it's just it might be better if we go back to the front here so you can see there's a minor stutter right here when I'm running through the doors or when I'm moving you can see that minor stutter sometimes that's just on the preview for uh, the Windows media player so that's just on the preview for that it'll also come up in VLC media player but for whatever reason whenever you render the video it's gone so what I like to do just to make sure like I'll pick a segment that appears to stutter uh, inside Vegas I use Sony Vegas so I will pick a segment like a little 30 second clip or whatever and that I know a stutters there in the preview and what I'll do I'll render that out and see if it's still stuttering or if it's not stuttering because sometimes RAM can be an issue in making sure play playback is smooth or not smooth so there's just tests that you have to do but these were my settings it works great I don't have any issues with it at all and I think the quality of my videos from shadow play especially on black ops 4 I think are pretty good I mean they're not like I'm not playing in ultra settings or anything like that because let's be honest most PC players will actually lower down the graphics quality to get more frames in a game that's pretty common things that we do some of the some of the people I know anytime they get a new graphics card they'll actually low load base Minecraft up just to see how many frames they can push in it i think my highest right now is about 600 <laughs> in base minecraft but that's just one of the things you can do just do some tests those were my settings i can even pull them up uh let's close this i'll pull them up one more time just so you can see these are what my settings are 10 minute buffer high and just literally 10 minute buffer click high that's it that's what my settings are and you can't change anything in here if this if your replay is set to on so you can turn it off and then you can actually edit it you can change all of this but I just have mine set to 10 minutes and then this changes you can see how this changes whenever you click something I my default is is high I just have set to high so that's the best advice I can give you guys I hope that it does help save some lives <laughs> there are some save some headaches anyways for people that were trying to record some black ops 4 gameplay on pc i'm not sure what's causing it to crash uh shadow play for everyone i really don't know but i showed you my driver version so you might want to look into that make sure your graphics card is up to date if that's it i really don't know guys but thanks for watching i hope this helps some of you out save some headaches get you guys making some content because this i really enjoy this game and i like seeing a lot of content from this game and i was just trying to do my part help out where i can so once again thanks drifter for asking me to make this video i'm sorry you're having so much issues uh with the pc side because we would love to catch some games with you over on our area because we miss we miss having some pc representatives outside of level cap and jack frags but anyways man thanks for hanging out i appreciate it we'll see you guys on the next one y'all have a good day